Hi everyone, it's me, Stargirl the Practical Witch, and welcome to my YouTube channel today. In today's reading, we're going to find out how the person on your mind really feels about you, and we're going to cut past the BS. I'm only going to tell you the truth of what I see. So trigger warning, do not watch unless you want to really know how the person on your mind feels about you, because I'm not one of those readers that are just going to tell you what you want to hear so you leave feeling better. So only do it if you really want to know. Today is an 18 plus reading, which means I'm going to dive deep into what their sexual fantasies are and the things that they want to do to you behind closed doors. Or for some of them, maybe not behind closed doors. But whatever the case is, we're not going to leave anything up to the imagination. We're going to pry open their energy and see what dirty thoughts they have about you. For those of you who are new to my channel, hi, I am Stargirl the Practical Witch and I am a psychic medium here on YouTube and I use my gifts to normally help encourage those who feel lost. But today, instead, we might be getting a little more sexy. We're going to do this love reading based on the tarot cards and my intuition. So if you're new to online psychic readings, what I normally have you guys do is pick one of the options with your intuition. And then once you pick an option, you can fast forward to the timestamps I provide in the pinned comment as well as the description. But before I give you guys some time to meditate on the options, as as you guys know, I love to give you psychic readings here on the internet for free. So thank you so much to Lilo for sponsoring today's video. So in 2021, Lilo was named the best luxury brand for sex toys of the year. So I've been using the Sila Sonic Clitoral Massager, but I like to call it my new best friend. So this is a clit sucking vibrator that was created for self love exploration. Why call your nasty ex up when you're feeling lonely? Have a night that you will deeply regret. When you can try the Lilo, this does you better than any other person ever will. But even if you're in a relationship, this makes an awesome foreplay toy and it will totally amp up your sex life. Also, for those of you guys on my channel who are also witches and you practice sex magic, this is one of the best ways to really manifest using your orgasm because, oh, my gosh, it gives you the biggest orgasm of your life. I love how like discreet it is too. So you can hide it. Like when your house cleaners come over, they're not going to look at it and automatically go, oh my gosh, you know, it's very discreet and it's very like compact as well, which I really appreciate in a sex toy. This little guy teases you so slowly as you reach the biggest orgasm of your life. Sila hits all of the right places and it gives you complete satisfaction from top to bottom. It's sculpted for your pleasure so it fits your body like a glove and it hits all of the right places. So this is the Sila by Lilo up close. It is rechargeable as well and I really love how long the charge lasts and how quick it is to charge as well. So it also has eight pleasure settings and in order to change the pleasure setting, you just push this button. So there's one setting. You push it again to change it. There's another one. And the settings change the vibrations in intensity as well as pattern. It's also whisper quiet so you can experience pleasure anywhere. What I like to do is I like to take the Sila with me into the shower or the bathtub. And because it is waterproof, you can absolutely do that no problem. It's also extra smooth and soft silicone and feels so amazing to the touch. With the Sila, your sex life will 
will never, ever, ever, ever get boring. But if this isn't your cup of tea, but you've been looking for a really amazing sex toy, try Lilo. If this toy piqued your interest, it's called the Sila, and I got mine in Aqua. However, check out their wide range of luxury toys. There's going to be something there that really does it for you. Click the link in the pinned comment and the description to get yours. Thank you guys so much for sitting through that. Now let's get back to the video. All right, everyone, this is your three options. What I need you to do is think of the person on your mind and then pick one of the three options with your intuition. Now, if your intuition is feeling a little shaky, you can always use a random number picker and that random number picker will generate that option for you. Once you pick an option the timestamps are down below in the pinned comment as well as the description click the timestamp next to your chosen option and it will take you right to your psychic reading about how the person on your mind really feels versus how they act feel free to take as much time as you need to meditate on the options pause the video if you need to but we are about to get started, so if you need more time, be sure to pause that video. So, group number one, how does your person um, act? What do they portray versus how they really feel and who they really are? That is going to be the reading today. And I want to tell you guys that the reason why I came up with this concept was because I was told to watch this reality show called Love Island. And, you know, I was watching, like, people watching this reality show, and I realized that most people do not act how they really feel or act like who they really are. So the purpose of today's pick a card reading is to see um, what their true intentions are, how they really feel and who they really are. So with your person group number one, this person comes off as harmless. Like, oh, I just want to be your friend. Oh, I'm just this cute little um, innocent puppy dog. Like they really just come off as very non-sexual, very friendly. Um, they come off as very reserved. Like they're not they're not someone who's like, oh my gosh, I want to tear off your clothes and I want to F you up against the wall. Like this person really likes to come off as harmless. Like with this puppy energy, like I'm being shown they like to come off literally as a loyal dog. They could be a Leo or a Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. They like to come off as very helpful. They like to come off as very like non-sexual, very friendly, as a helpful person, very trustworthy. But deep down, down, what they're hiding is they have sexual freaking thoughts about you like sexual ass thoughts like it's so funny because this person really likes to come off like oh i'm just being friendly oh i'm just being a nice helpful person oh i'm i'm harmless you can trust me but deep down this nice person facade they're like thinking some dirty freaking thoughts about you man like i'm telling you like like their thoughts are like I want to throw this bitch up against the wall and fuck her so hard. And if it's like, if it's a girl or if it's like a woman, she might be like, she might seem super virginal. Like, I'm going to wait till marriage. I'm so pure. I'm such a nice girl. But really, she's like this freaky, kinky type of bitch. Okay, like that's what I'm seeing about this person. So whoever they are, they come off as like the nice person, a nice girl, nice guy, very non-threatening, very innocent, very friendly, but deep down they're a freak. They are a freak, 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 and they have a high sex drive. Like it's pretty funny actually. So they see you as somebody who's exciting. Okay, they're they see you someone who's very youthful, young, and exciting. Like even if you are an older person, guys, like they see you as exciting, they see you as fun. Um, so and you know what, guys, you're represented by the Empress. Like you have really mastered self-love. 
you have really mastered self-love. You love yourself and who it is that you are. You're fine being independent, okay? Like you're very confident in who you are. The Empress is the most beautiful woman in the deck. So it's like you're the whole, I'm hearing like triple threat, brains, beauty, sex, you know what I mean? Like you have all three of that going for you. And on top of that, you know you're amazing. So, um this person though like they they really romanticize you in their heads um i feel like you know this person from school or they live in your neighborhood or something like that one of you is destined for fame here that's what i'm seeing one of you is destined for fame one of you could be a life path three or nine also i want to tell you this i feel like you have the power in this relationship okay because how they're portraying is this person's super indecisive they want to make a move towards you but they're so in their heads about what they're gonna say what they're gonna do that they're kind of stuck in a standstill like they're you know they're really stuck in a standstill they feel like they're not good enough for you that's the energy that i'm getting about this person guys whoever it is that you're asking about they feel like they're not good enough for you um but they love you like this is more than just sexual feelings i'm actually feeling that they love you they feel like you're the ideal person i actually have some messages from them okay they're saying i don't feel good enough for you you can do so much better these are the channeled messages from your person. I've called you so many times, but hang up before it rang because I get nervous. He's also saying, or she's also saying, whatever. Most of you guys who do these love readings are female though, so I don't know what to tell you. Okay, it said, I felt you were out of my league and didn't meet your standards, so I didn't bother to try avoiding disappointment so two times they have said that they feel you are too good for them why spirit why does this person feel that they are too good for them they have issues around sex they have issues around sex and their performance in bed Okay, like I'm telling you, your person group number one, I don't know who I'm reading for right now. The reason why this person feels they're not good enough for you is because they don't feel like they're good enough in bed for you. And also I'm hearing they feel like your family wouldn't think that they're good enough for you. They feel like your family would say this, they're beneath you. So they're scared of your family. Like maybe they feel like you're, you're from a rich family or a family with legacy. Um, they have insecurities in the bedroom, you know, like that's why this person doesn't feel good enough for you. And they actually get so nervous around you. Like they want to make a move towards you. They want to ask you out. They are in love with you. But this person feels a lot safer when they act like the helpful friend, when they act harmless, when they act, you know, virginal or whatever, because they are too pussy to make a move towards you, essentially. Look, we have it again. I feel I would never meet your expectations when it comes to career. Like this person's struggling in their career, guys, or they feel like you want someone who's more famous, more established, has a better reputation. Like this person feels their reputation or standing in life isn't good enough for you. That's what I feel. Um, they feel like maybe you guys are destined to be famous okay and they feel like they're not famous enough for you they feel like they don't have a high enough position for you they feel like your family would say yeah they feel like your family would be like um they wouldn't like them they feel like you deserve someone who has more fame more legacy like an elon musk type instead of like a, a brett michaels type i don't know like <laughs> I'm literally like, I, I don't know. I've just been binging on old reality shows. So I'm like making weird analogies. But yeah, they feel like um, their career isn't up to par. Maybe some of them are teachers, guys. Like I'm hearing this person could be a teacher. They could be in the government. They can work like in some sort of ninth house faction. So they could be a writer. They could be a teacher. They could be a publisher. They could work in spirituality. Um, they could work 
as a government worker or like a judge or in the church or something like that's what I'm getting about this person and they feel like they don't have enough fame recognition or standing and also they don't feel like they're sexy enough or good enough in the bedroom this person's dealing with a lot of insecurity so I'm telling you group number one the only person that, the only reason this person is acting like you know a friend or like harmless or friend zoning themselves is because they're too pussy to get out of their own head and make a decision and ask you out even though like what they're hiding behind this friendly demeanor is they want to fuck you they're having sexy thoughts about you um they feel like you're beautiful they might be like oh this person's a little too young for me or they they see you as being young like you make them feel young again group number one this person feels like you make them feel young again um you bring the excitement into their lives this person's also saying it would be too much of a risk for me to jump into anything with you. I'm scared of the outcome. They're scared of rejection. You know, when, when I'm channeling their spirit and they're saying it would be too much of a risk for me to jump into anything with you, I'm scared of the outcome. What I'm hearing them say is I'm too much of a pussy to actually ask you out because I'm scared of rejection. And then they're saying, I've lost my patience. It's time that I move on. This person's like, they know they have to make a move. But they want to get their finances in order first. Or they feel like they have to climb up the ladders of success more in order to be good enough for you. It's kind of like that movie with Gwen Pal Gwyneth Paltrow. What is that movie called? It's like a fantasy movie where... Um, anyway, he, this person feels like they have to be more successful in their career before they could ever stand a chance with you because this person doesn't feel good enough for you. This person is having such a hard time figuring out how to win you over. That's what I really feel. And I feel, okay, can I be real with you? Can I be real with you? What this person is hiding is they have a very like harsh tongue. Like one of their negative traits, this person on your mind, is they have a very harsh tongue. They have a very like when they when they insult someone, they can really cut someone with their words. That's something I'm seeing about this person. But what I will tell you is I feel like they want forgiveness for something they did to you. I feel like this person didn't believe you were actually fucking psychic. Like a lot of you guys are psychic. You're intuitive. Okay, group number one. Like that's what I'm seeing about you. Like you're hella psychic. You're hella intuitive. This person saying, I want you to forgive me for not believing that you're actually psychic and intuitive. intuitive. There was a time where they doubted your intuition or they ignored your advice or they ignored your intuition and they discredited it. And this person saying, please, Please forgive me for not believing that you are actually psychic. I now see that you're actually psychic. I now see that you're actually intuitive. They're also saying, sorry guys, there's like, remember how like in all of my pick a cards, I tell you there's this loud person who drives by my house. I'm not even kidding when I tell you like I want to murder this person. I literally want to murder this person because I don't feel like they realize like it's not attractive that they have loud cards. It's just straight up annoying. Anyway, this person's also saying, please forgive me for not reaching out. Please forgive me for being too much of a pussy to reach out. I'm scared of rejection and I'm not sure like this person's stuck in indecision guys with the ace of swords and the seven of cups they're like they have like seven different ways they want to approach you they have like they're thinking of oh i could ask her out like this i could admit i like her like this i can tell her how i feel like this like they have seven different ways of how they've thought about to win you over but they're having a hard time making a decision about how to approach you that's what I really feel. And they're saying, I'm sorry I haven't communicated how I feel. I'm sorry I've been hiding what I'm really thinking and feeling. I'm sorry I've been a little bit deceptive or unclear about what I want. I'm struggling with insecurity behind the scenes. That's what your person wants you to know. 
I haven't communicated. I haven't approached you because I feel insecure, too insecure to take the right initiative towards you. That's literally what I'm seeing, guys. Like this person, literally, I feel like if they wanted to, they could have you, but they're so insecure that they don't want to approach you because they literally put you on a freaking pedestal, dude. Whoever this person is, group number one, I'm telling you, like, you guys know I don't lie and sugarcoat in my readings. This person straight up puts you on a pedestal. Now, I will tell you, like, I'm probably going to get so many dislikes for this video because I'm not lying like every other tarot reader where I'm like, he's your twin flame. He's your soulmate. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just not going to lie during a love reading, which is probably why I don't do them a lot because I won't lie. I'll only tell the truth and the truth's not as fun, I guess. But I will tell you that I feel like this person is projecting a fantasy on you, okay? And I'm gonna I'm gonna explain why I feel that way. Okay. But by the way, guys, please be patient with me. I'm having issues with my throat chakra um, on this group for some reason. So I'm hearing one of you is having throat chakra blockages, and I feel like it's your person. This person has a hard time really expressing how they feel. This person fucking loves you though. But I will tell you. This person projects a lot onto you because when I asked why do you why does their person like group number one so much why we got the chameleon and what does the chameleon do it shapeshifts we have the mirror which talks about projection and we have the unseen which talks about not seeing you for who you are but rather the projection of you I feel like they're projecting some sort of fantasy onto you like they're not really seeing you hold up I'm gonna get some clarifiers yeah, guys, someone here, this person has hella issues with their throat chakra because when I tell you like I'm stuttering and you guys hear like there's and I did my vocal warm up and everything and I feel like the strain, like the strain, straining in my throat. It's almost like this person's energy is trying to choke me. So I can't like tell you how they're really feeling because they get so nervous around you. By the way, guys, you have a lot of fucking people who are talking about you right now. I know this has nothing to do with your leverage reading um <clears throat> i'm gonna get into that too you have a lot of fucking people who are talking about you right now okay and trust me we're gonna get into that but it's i feel like they're projecting something onto you guys they are hella projecting this like they see you as a free spirit they see you as a party animal they see you as someone who has a lot of fun they see you as their manic pixie essentially like i'm telling you this person is projecting hella onto you group number one they're projecting this manic pixie fun wild free spirit narrative onto you and i feel like guys like you know, that might be a part of you, but I feel like you remind them of something and they're projecting some like image onto you. They're in love with the projection they're putting on you. Does that make sense? Like, anyway, um, like this in person's imagination is super strong in regards to what they uh, want to do to you sexually. <laughs> oh my gosh, this was the funny part. Okay, this was the funny part. This person, they want to make love to you. There goes that guy again. I will pray for your fucking death. Anyway, anyway, you guys know, you guys know, like if you live near someone who has a loud car, you just know. It's like the worst. So this person, their sexual fantasy is to make love to you. They, they want to do it missionary style. They want to do it missionary style, like straight up, because we had the Ace of Cups, okay? We had the Ace of Cups. This person literally wants to do it missionary style, like in a hotel by the beach or something, like super cheesy, super romantic, very vanilla. Like they want to have vanilla missionary sex with you where your bodies are pressed together and their nose is in your hair, like that kind of intimate sex because this person's in love with you, okay? Like that's their fantasy is vanilla missionary sex with you. And also I feel like they have been admiring you when you were in another relationship, okay? Like, I feel like at one point you were, you were fucking someone else or you were in a relationship with someone else and this person would, like, fantasize about being with you. I'm hearing that song, um, 
I'm just a notch in your bed that fallout boy song where it's like isn't it messed up how I'm just dying to be him I'm just a notch in your bedpost, but you're just a line in a song like that fallout boy song if you guys want to hear a channeled song about how this person feels about you listen to that fallout boy song I feel like they have watched you be with other people but they fantasized about being with you while you were with someone else like they're waiting for their turn so what i also heard too guys is like this person only has eyes for you like i do see this person has gone to parties or whatever and there have been like other people around like this person has recently gone to a festival or they went to some place where there was like other women or other guys but they totally ignore them because their heart is set on you like this person has other people who are trying to get their attention this person does have other people that you know are trying to be tempting but this person completely ignores them because they only have eyes for you also i feel like you guys are going to be invited to some sort of party soon or some sort of get together i see you guys socializing a lot with other people and having fun with like the same sex that's what i'm seeing and this just makes this person want you even more this person has like definitely some of them not all of them guys but this person has done divination on you too so you might be seeing blackbirds and ravens like i feel like this person has asked their mom about you and okay listen if this person hasn't done tarot readings on you because believe it or not even if you're dealing with a masculine a lot of masculines use psychics okay just not I mean, maybe here on this channel, I don't know, my demographics say otherwise, but if this person hasn't used a psychic, they've literally went to their mother or their sister or some feminine who's super intuitive to ask about you and the situation. And their mother or this female was like, you need to just go and tell them how you feel. You need to just be like, you need, like this person has gotten an advice that says you need to be assertive and tell this person how you feel. But this person has an issue doing it because they're insecure, like straight up. Okay, like that's what I truly feel. Also, guys, I know this has nothing to do with this love reading. By the way, listen to that Fall Out Boy song where it's like, I'm just a notch in your bedpost, but you're just a line in a song. That Fall Out Boy song is their channel message to you because a lot of the times people will talk to you through music, guys. Like their soul will want to communicate with you so bad since they won't do it on the physical and they won't be straight up with communication like your person. So it's easier for them to psychically communicate with you through music. And I feel like this person has been trying to psychically communicate with you through the music you hear. I don't care if you think I'm woo-woo or schizophrenic. I'm not schizophrenic. I'm actually very grounded in reality however i do know for many years as a psychic and a medium that people when they cannot express themselves on the physical plane they will express themselves psychically and a lot of them use music and i feel like this person because they have such a hard time communicating they use music to psychically communicate with you and that song is fallout boy i'm just a notch in your bed post but you're just a line in a song that song correlates with how they feel about you Okay, also, I know this has nothing to do with love, but this person's kind of like pissing me off because the fact that they let fear stop them from making bold moves, and especially if they're a masculine, that's hella unattractive. Like, this person needs to realize bold moves is what gets you far in life, right? There's a lot of people talk. You are on so many people's minds right now, group number one. I don't know who the... I don't know what you are doing. I don't know who you are, but what spirit is showing me group number one, like we're going to go off on a little side piece right here, a little side tangent. Look at this. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. Venus and Gemini. You are on so many people's minds right now. Like I'm hearing, first of all, there's a lot of people who are talking about you. You're on the mind of a lot of people right now. And we're going to see why. But specifically, I'm seeing a Virgo pisces and aquarius who has and they could be a virgo pisces aquarius sun moon rising i'm seeing three different people you are on the mind of three different people and three different people are talking about you okay and this is at your career Guys, a lot of people are talking about you in the professional setting, in the career and professional setting. I will tell you that right now, women, and I don't care if you're a masculine, a lot right, right now for you, women are very critical of you. They're very judgmental of you. A lot of women at your workplace do not like you right now. They're gossiping about you, okay? 
And I feel it's because a lot of you, they can sense you're going a lot farther than they are and they don't like that. So you have a lot of people at your career who want to offer you opportunities who are talking about you right now. You're about to be offered an amazing financial opportunity at your job. And I'm seeing that a lot of you guys are actually about to really go through a promotion at your job or in your workplace. You guys are shining at your job and your workplace. Some of the attention that you are getting is actually very positive, but I'm seeing that some, like if people are talking crap about you, if these women are treating you poorly it's because they see that you're going a lot further than they are that you're doing a lot better than they are your energy is really attracting a lot of people and opportunities to you right now group number one okay and we're gonna see what what this virgo was saying about you this virgo is in their heads they're crying about you they're sad over you i feel like you turned your back on this virgo sun moon and rising to focus on your work to focus on yourself to focus on your craft this person is heartbroken over you you might have blocked them you might have rejected them this virgo cannot stop thinking about you they're in pain over you they're crying over you this aquarius sun moon and rising this person you have been on their mind a lot i feel like an aquarius is about to make a move towards you and ask you on a date group number one with a knight of cups and the knight of swords this aquarius sun moon or rising literally is racing towards you to communicate they might buy you flowers they might um send you a romantic message this person is a little bit of a heartbreaker though guys they're a little bit of a player so watch out for them and then there's this pisces i see who's been talking about you and who's been thinking about you Okay, this person, this person is, I can't really pick up this Pisces, but yeah, guys, you have a lot of people who are talking about you right now. I, I really see that, and I see a lot of collaboration and opportunity coming in your career because you are shining. You have a lot of people who want to be your friend group number one, like a lot of people as well. Okay, you're on the minds of a lot of people. Like, I don't know what you're doing, Spirit. Why is it that group number one is on the minds of a lot of people? You have natural power, seduction, and sex appeal with Moon and Scorpio. Group number one, I want you to know the reason why so many people are thinking about you, talking about you. You're the topic of conversation. You know, some people are hating. They're like making fun of your looks, making fun of the way you dress. Some people are like in love with you. You know, some people just want to offer you career opportunities because you're shining. Do you want to know why all of the, you're on the minds of so many people? Do you want to know why so many people are talking about you, especially in your job and career, especially higher ups? Because with this moon school, Scorpio and power, you guys are powerful. You understand the laws of power, group number one. You have power. You have natural power. People want to submit to you, submit to your will. Moon and Scorpio also talks about sex appeal. You're also a fantastic communicator. Your communication style is like phenomenal. Your small talk game is phenomenal. Even if you do not like doing it, you're good at it and you can charm people. Okay, and the energy that you're radiating right now is super powerful. And I think it's because you guys are super independent. You're you're confident in yourself. You love yourself and you're independent. And also, I'm I'm finally seeing it. There's a Pisces that's using you as a muse, as inspiration, as a muse. They're inspired by you. You have a grace that you don't even notice in yourself. Like you guys remind people subconsciously of a greek god or a greek muse that's how graceful you are right now you guys are shining okay also your your teachers really like you um you guys are like really shining right now group number one that's something you need to know so you know good good job so that's all i have for you i hope that was helpful um i'm also hearing you're gonna hear important communication in 16 days um you're gonna get some amazing inspiration or something you're gonna hear some very big news in 16 days okay um it's news that you want to hear. Also, you're doing a really great job in juggling all of your life responsibilities. Like you're doing an amazing job. Something big is going to happen of the 16th of this month or next month or in 16 days. Okay, and it's going to be a message you really want to hear, group number one. That's what I truly feel for you. It's going to be a new start you've been wanting. You have a lot of eyes on you right now. 
You have a lot of eyes on you right now. People are amazed at how talented you are, how good you are, what, what it is that you do for real. So that's all I have for you. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Group number two. We're going to see how the person on your mind is acting and had to take my retainers out. We're going to see how the person on your mind is acting versus how they really feel. Because I was told to watch this reality show called Love Island. And it's like this new reality show. And I just was people watching. And I noticed that people really do not show how it is they're really thinking or how it is they're really feeling. Generally, people are suppressing it and hiding it. So what I'm going to do with your person is I am going to go into how they really feel about you, okay, how they see you, and what it is they're hiding, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. So I think this person, they act confident, okay? Your person really does act confident, but they're hiding a lot of secrets, okay? So group number two, you are the whole reason why I did this reading because this person is hiding a lot of secrets, all right? I want to tell you something. This person is acting with this lovers in reverse on the left. They're saying, I don't want love F love, I'm anti-love, I don't want a relationship, I'm not looking for love, I could care less about love. Like this person acts like they don't want a relationship. Your person acts like they're against love, they don't believe in love, they don't want love, they don't believe in soulmates, they don't believe in twin flames, they don't believe in relationships. Like this person, you know what this person is hiding? The fact that they're freaking jaded and bitter. Okay, group number two, uh, your person is jaded and bitter. Uh, I'm hearing that they could do music or you do music. Someone here does music, okay? Uh, spirit just popped up with that. So this person also acts a little cocky. They act a little confident. I'm also hearing like you or them is actually pretty attractive. One of you is represented by the Empress. So one of you guys is actually really attractive. But anyway, um, this person acts very cocky and confident. This is not an act because Leo has come up twice. One of you could be a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, okay? So this person, it's not an act. Their confidence is true confidence. They're actually very confident, self-assured individuals. Like Because the Leo card is coming up on how they're acting and how they really are. So, you know, this person really is confident, but what I'm, what they're hiding is that they actually do want a relationship. They actually do want to fall in love. They're actually actively looking for a partner that they can fall in love with. As I see with the two of wands, it's just that this person is hella jaded. So they act like they don't believe in love. Okay. So this person towards you, I feel like, I feel like towards you, they... They might act, they see you as an equal, guys. I feel like they see you as an equal. Like some of you guys have the same social status or they see you as being equal to them in worth. That's what I feel. I feel like this person acts like, very standoffish, kind of cold, all business. Your person acts very standoffish, cold, and all business towards you. But how they really feel is they feel an intuitive connection to you guys. They feel a real intuitive connection to you. They actually have a lot of feelings for you. They just do not feel comfortable in expressing those feelings. This person likes to come off as cold, detached. I don't care about love. I only care about work. I only care about power. But what this person is hiding is the fact that they have a lot of emotions. They're extremely sensitive. They actually have a real bond with you. Like they can actually talk to you. And I'm trying to get this to focus guys so give me a second so they're hiding the fact that they actually have a lot of emotions and they're very intuitive people um this person's naturally very independent though like they really value their independence but this person is saying i don't want love fuck love but actually this person really does want love this person is deeply eccentric guys like whoever it is that you're dealing with i'm hearing that they are deeply eccentric like they are very weird and this is something that they 
they actively try to hide from the world i apologize guys every time i go to film like my neighborhood is hella quiet but as soon as i turn on the freaking camera the trash man comes the recycling comes the guy with the ridiculously loud motorcycle and the car comes like i'm telling you i live in a quiet ass part of town it is only when i turn on my mic it is only when i turn on the camera does the, do these noises come out okay also i'm hearing from your spirit guides i just looked out my window and i saw dandelion fluff fly by my window there's something about a wish of yours coming true pretty soon i'm hearing uh that your spirit guides say they're gonna give you charity they're gonna help you out group number two there's something about you a wish of yours that's coming true pretty soon i'm also hearing like your seeds are successfully planted your seeds of manifestation are successfully planted and you're gonna watch your manifestations grow very 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 soon i'm also hearing something about laying roots laying roots somewhere is very important i know and by the way guys like um with my readings, I'm going to get a lot of random messages that come through as I tap into your energy. So if that sounded vague, we're going to actually get into that later on in the reading and elaborate more. But let's uh, finish this love reading and then I'm going to get into your additional messages. So what your person is hiding is that they are hella weird and they don't want the world to see how weird they are like i'm talking this person has a crazy imagination with saturn and aquarius they're eccentric as hell okay they don't think like the normal person this person's very like scientific minded they might have aquarius placements i just saw 11 11 this person's a part of your same soul tribe your same soul family you know people say that 11 11 is the number of twin flames but it's yeah it's the number of twin flames it means souls that are a lot like yours in blueprint so if you're like star girl this actually sounds a lot like me yeah it's because you and this person that you're asking about the reason why you're so drawn to them is because you share the same soul imprint both of you guys are mirrored souls you're very much the same because essentially what I've been shown on my spiritual journey is that people don't incarnate here alone okay like let me give you an example you know how you meet some people and you're like damn that person really reminds me of that other person and like you can kind of lump people into categories they kind of look the same talk the same act the same and it's not about conformity it's like their spirit is very similar i see this on tiktok all the time i'm scrolling through tiktok to people who aren't even related they talk the same they look the same they're interested in the same topics it's like because they're a part of the same soul cloth people come here and incarnate on earth with their soul tribe and their soul family so they have the same values they have the same looks they have the same inclinations like you come here with people who are just like you this person is just like you twin flame okay same soul family same soul cloth 11 11 both of you guys hide the fact that you're actually weirdos you do not fit into society you guys think different you're like your minds are futuristic so you don't like the soul family you incarnated into you probably have a hard time fitting in with other people very rebellious both of you are very rebellious very weird this person likes to hide that under a mask of stoicism or control this person really likes to hide their eccentricity because in the past they've been shamed for it. You know, they've been shamed for it. They feel uncomfortable expressing it. So this person likes to hide it behind status, behind wealth, behind the pursuit of career success, behind um, being very mature. They hide this eccentricity. They have a lot of secrets, guys. It's got, they have a lot of secrets. This person's actually very lonely. They suffer from isolation. They suffer from loneliness because they feel like no one understands them, okay? This person is hiding the fact that they're actually very generous. They actually um, are very generous, very intuitive, very open-hearted. They learned how to hide that okay and this person wasn't always confident at one point they were bullied at one point they lacked confidence they grew this confidence now how they see you on the flip side is the sun and the eight of wands this person thinks that you are like this person admires you guys 
Group number two, your person admires you. They admire the empire that you have built for yourself. You guys are very successful people, whether you see it or not. You have achieved a lot in this lifetime, group number two. I know it is easy to downplay our success and say, oh, I don't, I haven't achieved a lot. I haven't achieved all that I've wanted to, but I'm actually seeing in the cards, you guys have achieved a lot in this lifetime with achievement, sun, Capricorn, sun, and this person admires you. This person really admires the work that you have done. This person sees you as rich, okay? Your person sees you as rich and not just like monetarily rich. Like this person sees that you have things going on in your life. Like they see you have a lot of hobbies. They see that you're well balanced. You're well educated, that you've achieved a lot. This person really puts you on a pedestal, admires you and respects you, especially when it comes to your career, when it comes to your status group number two, you guys should be proud of how much you have accomplished in this life. Life. A lot of people are actually very impressed by how much you have accomplished in this life. It is very, very impressive. This person thinks you're also intelligent. They think you're smart. They think you're intellectually stimulating. You excite them. I'm hearing like when they're around you. And guys, if this is like a crush, put it in context to what would happen if they were in your presence. This person feels like literally electric when they're near you. They feel stimulated when they're around you. They get a surge of energy when they're around you. You really excite them and they re admire you and they respect you as well. So with this fox here, because I'm seeing like how they see you, the fox came up. So they, they see you as the sun, okay? So they see you as very masculine in energy. They see you as warm, exciting. You bring happiness and joy. These are all good things I'm seeing. But they also see you as someone who's psychic. And I don't mean like psychic, like a psychic healer, but someone who has a psychic vision of futuristic trends. And that's why that's why they feel like you are successful because you have a visionary. You have a psychic sense for what's going to happen in the future or be successful in the future. However, I will tell you, this person also really likes your eyes. I'm willing to bet a lot of you guys have the same eyes because one thing I've noticed about people who are twin flames, because I am seeing twin flames, but not in a way where like, you know, twin flame love romance. I'm talking about twin flames where you guys are the same soul cloth, right? Like soul family, twin flame. Um, because I don't necessarily believe in romantic twin flames anymore. I feel like when you meet a twin flame, there's a lot of other people like you who come from the same soul cloth and I've noticed a lot of these people have the same eyes I'm willing to bet you guys have like the same shaped eyes the same colored eyes like there's something very similar about your eyes because you guys share the same soul, which means that both of you probably started out not so freaking confident in this life. You have grown your confidence. You have grown to love yourself. You're both hella eccentric, hella weird. You guys go against mainstream society. You guys are very... <laughs> Like I'm talking about weirdos, but you know, all the best people are weird. You cannot tell me otherwise. Like if you aren't a little weird, I do not trust you. I don't trust you. Like, what are you hiding? So, you know, like you guys have a scientific, both of you have, like a lot of you might be like, damn, this sounds like me. Yeah. Cause you guys are the same. You guys have a futuristic mind. You guys have you know, a scientific mind, you're visionaries, you're futuristic, like you guys think div in a different pattern than most people, which means you guys are visionaries, you're inventors, you guys are destined for career success. Because I'm going to tell you something, Steve Jobs, when he envisioned the iPhone, okay, like Elon Musk, when he envisioned Tesla, like that's an innovative mind, you both have a foresight of the future. And you you're going to use that to innovate something and become successful, both of you. You because that's like I'm I'm telling you I'm getting so many downloads right now I love Jupiter being in Pisces and sidereal because I feel like the messages are coming so much more easier than ever before I know that wasn't proper grammar give me a break anyway moving on for those of you guys who are grammar Nazis out there um I feel like both of you guys come from the same soul cloth where <clears throat> You guys have a scientific mind. Even if you weren't good at science, I'm talking about you innovate things that things haven't 
that have not been done before. Um, enterprises, businesses, the way that you think that it's literally a part of your legacy to build a legacy, to change the world in a way that um, has never been done before. Like this is what your soul cloth has come to do. So a lot of people in your soul family, guys, when you get older, you're going to notice these people are making businesses that take over the world, businesses that change the world and how we use things because that's the soul cloth group number two you were cut out of. And that's why you're attracted to this person because both of you come from a soul cloth of having innovation, a scientific mind, being a little weird, thinking a little differently, being naturally super rebellious these people make legacies these people change the future with saturn um and scorpio these people make structures that change the world so a lot of you guys are meant for high status both of you with the sun taurus acquisition control i see it all over your spread this is what your soul cloth is meant to do that's why you guys are weirdos that's why you guys don't fit in you know, you both of you might have gotten made fun of a lot when younger, you know, both of you have had self esteem issues because of your weirdness, but that weirdness is making you an innovator group number two. Um, and both of you are a part of the same soul cloth. Now with this fox, this person does not trust you as far as they can throw you. This person has trust issues because I'm going to tell you something about this person group number two, your person acts like they don't give a crap about love. This person acts very cold, detached like they only care about business power and money but this person actually their heart is so big like th this person is hiding the fact that they're a good person you might do this too this person is hiding the fact like do you see in this picture i don't know if you guys can see with generosity that's them they're represented as like a saturn like character a white beard white hair very saturn like older soul type person they act, they want to act like, I want to show you guys this, only if you're not driving. If you're driving, please do not look at the screen, okay? This person acts like they are on top of the world. They don't care about anyone. They don't need anybody. They're above all the BS. But actually, this like this per in this of how they show, their arms are crossed, which means they're not open to love. They're not open to people. They're all alone. They look like they only care about achievement and staying away from people. But actually, with this, their arms are wide open. They're pouring down blessings on people. This person actually cares a lot about people. Like, this person is super generous like it when they get a lot of riches i actually see this person donating a lot of their money like like literally giving their money away to the poor this person likes to hide the fact that they're generous and they care about people because they don't want to be taken advantage of and they would rather be feared than loved so they hide the fact that they actually have a big ass heart they're high they they like to hide the fact that they're actually a good ass person kind of like how you probably do you've learned like i can't do that i can't show people that I'm a good person I can't show people how generous I am because they'll take a, take advantage of me I have to be in a position of power I have to keep my power so both of you hide the fact that you're actually super generous you care so much about people you'd give your last dollar your last penny to people like this person like literally gives their money to the poor they don't announce it though. They're not someone who's like, yeah, I'm giving all my money. You know, I'm doing all this for people. This person hides that. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if your person does secret charity, um, does good deeds behind people's back without announcing it. This person's a diamond in the rough. Like they like to act rough, act tough, act hard, act like they don't care. But this person's heart is huge big 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 ass heart um a lot of empathy this person has so that's what i truly see about the person that you're asking about and this person i'll tell you like i was going on before they like to act like they don't give a fuck about love this is an 18 plus reading by the way guys so i'm like <laughs> i'm gonna curse um and we're gonna get into their sexual fantasies too this person likes to act like they don't give a fuck about love. They don't believe in love. They're jaded. But actually, this person is the most obsessed in love. They're the most loyal. They're the most, like, when they love you, it's like ride or die, Venus and Scorpio, because that card came out. They're hiding the intensity of how they really feel straight up your person so they have issues with trust they have issues with um trusting people this person's excited by you 
they have a lot of good thoughts about you. Like every thought they have about you is extremely positive, actually. When they talk about you, it's always positive. They're always like hyping you up behind your back, actually. For those of you who know this person and it's not just a crush. Um, and even if this crush were to come in contact with you, if they met you, they would do nothing but hype you up because they respect and admire you. They'd be like, like, this is what your person says behind your back. Okay, I'll tell you straight up. This person's destined for success. This person's destined for achievement. I'm so impressed with what they built. I'm so impressed by their vision. This person's psychic. This person, you know, like they're always confident complimenting your talents like this person actually talks a lot of good about you behind your back um because they're impressed by you they're inspired by what you have done this person likes you like straight up like actually likes you as a person group number two or if you were to meet them they would do nothing but hype up your achievements and um what I'm seeing is, however, with the, the the fox, they don't trust you. And it's not because you're not trustworthy. They just do not trust people easily. That's why this person's alone. This This is why this person suffers with loneliness. They do not freaking trust people. And with this fox, there's something about you that makes them feel you're untrustworthy. With this page of wands, do you know why I think they feel you're untrustworthy? I think they feel... Um, your free spirit makes you untrustworthy. That's exactly what I see. Um, they feel like you're so talented. You're so cool. You know, you're the life of the party. You're filled with excitement that they feel like they could not trust you. That you would run off or cheat on them. Or, you know, they feel like you could have anybody so they don't trust you. Essentially, group number two, because this person is very possessive in love when they really open up to you. And if you're giving red flags, like you're confident, you know, you're filled with, you would be anyone's wish fulfillment. They feel like you could have anybody so they can't trust you, which is really sad. Okay. So, um, what I want to do now is we're going to get into their messages that what they want to tell you, cause I have some channeled messages from them. And we're also guys, I also have additional messages for you because listen, like I, my spirit guides don't work as far as just doing love readings. Like I always get additional messages about your life. So I'm also going to get into that. So just hang tight real quick. Okay, so I have some channeled messages from them. And you know how I was saying this person is hiding a lot of secrets. One of the secrets that they're hiding is they definitely have a criminal background. Okay, it says criminal mind. Um, they have a criminal background. I do feel like it's something that has happened in the past because I see with the moon and the fool, like they're trying to have a fresh start away from their criminal past. They definitely have a criminal record, a criminal past that they have tried very hard to hide with the moon here. With the moon, this is telling me this happened in the past. I don't think it's present. And I did hear something like, Baby, I'm in love with a criminal. Criminal by Britney Spears. Like, Criminal by Britney Spears is playing in my head. So this person definitely has a criminal background that they are hiding because they want a fresh start away from that past because they're not like that anymore, okay? So I also have some channeled messages from them. And what they're saying is... I knew I had to increase my effort to be with you and I wasn't able to do that. They're also saying, hold up guys, I have a few more of these. I'm trying to get this camera to focus. There we go. They're saying unavailable. I'm emotionally attached to someone else and I don't know how to tell you. They're saying you inspired me to change. I'm a better person because of you. There you go. They are inspired by you. I'm resisting my desire for you because it's too late now. I've wasted too much time. And then the other channel message is let's go out for a drink and careful not to have regrets the next morning. So the vibes that I'm getting from this is they want to have a good time with you. They want to maybe have some drinks with you because they like you. They find you exciting. But 
I kind of feel like this person is not over an ex if I'm going to be completely honest with you group number two um, I'm not we're gonna get into if there's a future with them okay like I will look into if there is a possible future but right now this person is not over their ex they are still hurting over their ex they're still jaded and hung up on their ex it kind of reminds me of that movie Gone with the Wind where Scarlett O'Hara was like super in love with Ashley even though she had Red Butler who was super rich super hot loved her to pieces she could not get over Ashley because she couldn't have Ashley because Ashley was always just out of her reach she wanted what she couldn't have your person's kind of giving me that vibe where they're hung up over someone that rejected them that didn't want them that hurt them this person's still hung up over an ex even though they are excited over you so I think because this person is not over their ex, I am not sure if this could be a relationship right now. I know this person likes you. I know this person desires you even though they're resisting it, but I do feel like their heart is with somebody else, okay? I feel like this person wants to have a good time with you because they find you to be interesting, but I think if you were to come at them with a solid offer, they would be scared off, they would reject it, because they don't want commitment right now because their heart is with someone else. So if you were to be like, hey, I really like you. I see a future with you. You know, this person would be like, no, and kind of get scared off. They would get scared off. I feel like they want to get to know you better, maybe have a good time, have a few drinks and maybe, but if you came at them right with an offer, they would not be interested because their heart is blocked off and guarded because they have still not healed from someone in the past. I'm hearing you need to give this time with the wheel of fortune because this person is still chained and stuck to a karmic partner P point blank period this person is not over it okay like i was saying that analogy gone with the wind how scarlett o'hara even though she had her perfect match which was red butler and he was everything she ever wanted and was compatible with her she was still hung up over her karmic ashley if it if you haven't watched Gone with the Wind, you need to watch Gone with the Wind. It is a classic. She's still attached to Ashley, who just strings her along, who she's not compatible with, but she's in love with the idea of Ashley because Ashley keeps rejecting her. And subconsciously, she feels like she's deserving of that. You know what I mean? Like this person is still like so hurt over their karmic. Okay, like for real, this person still has so much emotions and hurt over their karmic. I'm hearing give it time. They're gonna reject all offers because the only thing they can think about is this karmic you know and it sucks because this karmic is not good for them this karmic did nothing but bring them misery pain they weren't compatible but it doesn't matter this person is not over their ex and you know what i'm glad i'm telling you this because do you know how many times i've been in relationships with people who are not over their ex and they would not tell me but i always felt it it's the worst feeling in the world and i'm telling you right now this person is not over their ex okay like I feel like this person still wants to reconnect with their ex. I feel like this person deep down what they want is their ex still, even though it's done nothing but bring them pain, like this person is not over it. And I feel like if you were to get in a relationship with this person while they're not over your their ex, it would literally kill your self-esteem. Okay, like even if you are their perfect match, even if you know you are, because I'm seeing you are, this person is not willing to see it right now. Um... I'm sorry, they're just not, they're romanticizing the past. They're literally, romant like I'm hearing this person has nostalgia issues. They have, they have, so depression is romantic, no, romanticized nostalgia, depression. So romanticizing the past is romanticized depression. This person loves to romanticize the past. They're not seeing the past accurately. They're not seeing this ex accurately. They're literally romanticizing their ex, even though how they're seeing the ex is nothing like how their reality was. That's what this person is doing. If you were to come on too strong with this person, I'm hearing they would reject you. Or if you have been trying to win them over and like come, they would literally be met, you would be met with coldness because this person subconsciously is waiting for, is just thinking about their ex. It sucks, dude. I hope this person gets over them. 
like even with their sexual fantasies they don't have like i'm seeing this person's sexual fantasies there's not a lot of sexual fantasies here this is an 18 plus reading and i can't really tell you what their sexual fantasies are this pe person is obsessed with pining and pain <laughs> group number two your person is obsessed with pining and pain this person probably writes depressing poetry this person probably still writes in their journal like this person likes to get inspired off of pain I feel like subconsciously this person wants pain and heartbreak. They like to pine after what they can't have. Essentially, your person. Also, they use sex as a weapon. I'm not trying to diss your person, guys. There's a lot of good like things about your person, but I like to give you a realistic standpoint of what you're dealing with here. Like this person's addicted to their pain. This person's addicted to pining. They feel inspired when they're in pain. This person's addicted to their pain, guys, and it's really sad. Like they're really not seeing their ex clearly. Okay, like, do you have a future together? Do you have a future together? Like, would you ever be able to be break free, break this person free of their ex's spell? Like, for real? Let's see if you have a future together. Do you have a future together? We have the King of Pentacles. Let's see if you could possibly have a future together. Okay, and also I'm going to get into your other messages. We have the three. I see you guys working together. I see you guys doing a great job working together. Like, because both of you are very motivated towards success. I see you both building your own empires and working together in the future. I think they would accept you for who you are, vice versa. And I feel like right now, ready for commitment and one-sided, I don't know, guys. I don't know if you have a future together. Maybe sometime in the future, but the cards are not being clear, and I'm not going to tell you just what you want to hear, okay? But I'm over this person. This is, like, honestly what I saw for you, okay? Like, I want to tell you guys, like, I feel like you're dealing with a lot of hidden enemies right now. Be careful the things that you say. Like, don't reveal your secrets. Don't reveal your plots. I feel like a lot of people might have a problem with you. I'm seeing this on the Astro Dice. But I want to tell you, like, this person's a part of your soul family. At the very least, I'm seeing a psychic connection, like a friendship connection. Um, because both of you, like I said, you have a hard time getting along with other people. Or, like, relating to a lot of people. Hold up. So... Um, because I saw those dandelion seeds, guys, spirit has an additional message for you. There is a blessed change that is about to happen for you guys very, very soon. Group number two. And this change is going to happen in your career. Group number two. And I want to tell you, like, this isn't a bad change. All right. This is this is a good change. Like this is a blessed change happening in your career. I feel like this is something you've been waiting for for a really long time. You've been waiting for your big break. You've been waiting for things to finally happen in your career. Group number two. I'm seeing that they're like you've been literally waiting for something big to happen in your career. This is about to happen for you. I'm hearing within two months two months, two weeks. So very, very, very soon. That's one message your spirit guides had for you. And I feel like you guys have been working super hard. Like this change that's coming is finally the success and wish fulfillment you have been asking for. Yeah. Six of wands and the nine of cups guys, group number two. Um, if you've been wanting pop more popularity for your business, if you've been manifesting, like being recognized for your work, getting a raise, you're about to get recognized at your job, get that raise at your job, blowing up, going viral in your 10th house of image and career. This is finally coming for you after I'm hearing nine months of nothing, nine months of hard work after waiting for your harvest, after working so hard this is finally coming for you group number two visualization and healing heart as well as awakening your true self so guys this is the extra message i had for you 
so that's what I have for you. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. All right, group number three. So this is how your person acts versus how they really feel about you. Like I was telling the other piles, I watched this reality show and I realized that a lot of people try to hide their real feelings and who they really are. So I was like, you know what? Let's see how my viewers, how the person on their mind really really feels versus what they show. So the person on your mind is giving me the vibe that I don't know why I heard Stevie Nicks, even if they're a guy, it's like they like to seem like, oh, I'm a free spirit. I can't be tied down. I'm detached. I don't really care. This person likes to act like they don't really care. They might be avoidant in nature, group number three. Like your person, I really sense like is like, I believe in freedom and love. I don't really care what happens. I have detached from the outcome. This person likes to act extremely aloof okay they like to pretend oh i don't notice you that much i don't care what you're doing um but what this person is hiding is they're actually extremely devoted to you they actually care a lot i want to tell you guys both of you have the same feelings for each other okay both of you are both hopeless romantics and when you are in love it is super intense i don't know why i feel that this relationship would be um if it's just a crush hella dramatic I'm getting like, you know, Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly. And it's like, I think it's really cute. I love couples like that. I've always been a fan of Sid and Nancy, okay? Kurt and Courtney, John Lennon and Yoko. I, I live for it. I love it. But it's a tad bit dramatic. It's a tad bit like over the top. You know what I mean? I feel like your relationship with this person is just a tad bit, would be, or is a tad bit dramatic, a tad bit over the top, um, kind of like a melodrama, because both of you are literally feeling the same way because on their pile right here on how they really feel and what they're hiding it's two of cups and scorpio on your pile it's the marriage card and scorpio both of you i think legitimately want to marry each other i think both of you feel a lot of things very intensely and both of you hide it that's what I really feel. I feel like this person feels more comfortable coming off as lighthearted, coming off as I don't care, coming off as like, I don't care what you do, you know, live your life. You know, this person likes to say that, but that's not how they really feel. This person actually would kill a bitch if they came near you. Like this person would fight a bitch, claw a bitch's eyes out. Or if it's a guy, this person, if they saw someone else encroaching on you, they might make a fake profile and bitch this person out. This person might show up to that person's place of work and beat the crap out of them for some of them. I mean, you know, I, not all of your people are going to be that crazy, but if some, if this person saw you talking to someone else or saw you with someone else, it would enrage them. This person would likely get into a physical altercation. And it's funny because your person likes to act like aloof. I don't care. You know, I believe in free love. I believe in, you know, just letting people do what they want and not being controlling. Like that's what this person says, but that's not how they really feel straight up group number three like i'm telling you there is such a discrepancy between what people say and how they really feel it's with everybody and i'm telling you this might be the type of person who might be like do what you want i just want you to be free you know i don't believe in controlling or owning anybody you know like it's all good like friends first you know like let's be free but that's not how they really feel really they're possessive over you they're devoted for to you they would die for you um they're a ride or die if they see anyone coming near you they would literally react so swift like they would beat somebody's ass over you that's like what that's what this person is hiding group number three and it's funny because i feel like both of you definitely feel the same way okay and you know what i just heard a message like i don't know if you guys have ever kissed before group number three if this is just a crush just relate it to the future if you guys were to ever kiss, it would be fireworks. Like you would never meet somebody you're more compatible with when it comes to making out. Like both of you would feel like this crazy attraction together if you started kissing. Like this would be the best kiss of your life.
This would literally be the best kiss of your life and both of you would feel that way. Like it would be literal fireworks when you two kiss because I'm sensing if you guys were to get together, it would be major intensity. This person feels like you're a part of their destiny, group number three, and it's something they can't really explain. They intuitively feel like you are a part of their destiny. They also view you as someone who's very innocent. They view you as someone who's very innocent and is a part of their destiny. And they also view you as somebody who is kind of eccentric, kind of weird. I'm also seeing 111. Guys, you might be seeing the number synchronicity 111. I want you to know you're seeing 111 because your spirit guides are asking you to focus on your health and self care. And also, you're seeing 111 as a meaning because a lot of you are very psychic when it comes to connecting with animals, as well as you're getting a lot of psychic downloads and intuition at this time. I'm group number three. If I've been saying another number, I do apologize, but I am going to get additional messages for you because sometimes when I um, contact my spirit guides, a lot of messages come up. So I'm going to be getting a lot of random crap. So I feel that you guys definitely feel the same. I feel like you want a relationship group number three. This person wants a committed relationship. That's what this person is hiding. They don't want you to be with anyone else. They want to only be with you and both of you feel the same way. Now this person is acting like they feel they, they they're acting very, very slow towards you. Your person is very slow to make a move. They're very slow to progress the relationship with you. They're dragging their feet in this relationship with you. Okay? Like, I really see that. This person is dragging their feet um, and moving very slowly when it comes to pursuing something with you. This person also with Jupiter and Taurus and status, I feel like this person might have a high status, a high position, or this is something they like to portray to the world, especially with the Queen of Arrows and Jupiter and Taurus status. This person also, I feel like, wants a power couple relationship and dynamic with you. How they really feel is they feel like you are a great friend, not just not just a lover. They see you as a great friend. They actually have a lot of friendship feelings towards towards you. This person definitely sees you as a great friend, group number three, like immediate friendship connection that's happening here. They also have a lot of like feelings. They feel inspired by you is what I'm hearing. They feel inspired to be creative when they're around you. And also what they're hiding is that they really like you and they're very devoted to you. They see you as somebody that they want to be with romantically. This person I'm hearing, they've been struck by Cupid when they when they look at you. They listen to music and they think of you. They listen to, they look at art and they think of you. This person's in love with you and you're their ideal type. You're their ideal physical type, group number three. They also, some of you guys are flexible. Some of you guys are gymnasts. They really love that about you. And if you're not gymnasts, because this is a general reading, they love the way that you communicate they think that you're very intelligent okay a lot of you guys could be seeing 11 11 as well as 111 that's something i'm seeing um and i feel like you're seeing 11 11 because i feel like this has something to do with your romantic relationships we're going to get into that too but right now i want to focus on this spirit please give me uh singular messages at a time i don't want to get too scattered so you guys, I want you to know group number three, you have the gift of the art of seduction. Okay, I referenced that book so much and this is because I have a Scorpio stellium in sidereal astrology. So I'm obsessed with those books. But with what spirit is showing me with Jupiter and Pisces is like you really can get anyone to fall in love with you. Group number three, this is your superpower. You know how to get anyone to fall in love with you. This is your superpower. A lot of you, group number three, you're my pile that has a lot of admirers, okay? Like I'm picking up at least five people who would do anything to be with you. No, actually for a lot of you, a lot of you might be in the public eye or you might be models. If not, I'm seeing like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, at least 14 energies coming up of people who feel like you are their dream person. Okay, so, you know, either way, 
Group number three, you're the pile who could literally have anybody. And that's because a lot of you take really good care of yourselves. Like you groom yourself, you get your nails done, you get your hair done, you have good hygiene, you take really good care of your exercise routine. Like there are so many people who are struck by Cupid by you. Like you can seduce masses. Like this is what I say, like rock stars, like musicians are the greatest seducers. They seduce in masses music is seductive like you have that ability to seduce the masses like this is your ability is the ability to make anyone fall in love with you and this comes with ease okay some of you can have sun in sagittarius venus and leo okay leo placements pisces placements virgo placements as confirmation like people have actually manifested you noticing them and you have more than one option in love and you have always had more than one option in love group number three because your aura is so magnetic. You are a dream person. You're people's ideal person. I don't know if you notice this or not. And also, it's not about being conventionally attractive, guys. There are a lot of people, you know, I've met where I have first met them and I didn't think, wow, they're a stunner. But it's like their energy and their aura. and It's like things that they can't consciously control. I feel like you have that pool. So you have a lot of people who are, you know, interested in you currently for sure who feel you are their perfect match and I feel you know with this person this person really feels that you're a part of their destiny guys group number three even if this is just a crush like I'm telling you this person subconsciously feels with this palm you are in the north node that you are a part of their destiny that you are going to play a huge part in their destiny. You and group number two are seeing 1111 and 111. And we're going to get into what that means for you later on in the reading because I keep seeing it for you. I feel that a lot of you guys, you remind this person of someone from their past. And there's something that you do that really moves this person in a way that they can't explain. Now, how does this person act? This person, I feel like puts them, I feel like this person acts like holier than thou sometimes. I'm not going to lie, group number three. This person might like to talk about spiritual topics. This person, I feel like acts optimistic. They act like a free spirit. They have a lot of Sagittarian traits. But really how they feel is, really how they feel is they want someone they can travel with, to be devoted with. This person wants to be tied down. So I also have some channeled messages from them, okay? I am going to pull that out, their channeled messages. So what I'm seeing is... This person has a lot they want to say to you, to be completely honest. This person wants to say, cheating, my person made me cut you off. I got caught. Okay, so, you know, if this person has already been in a relationship while they were in a relationship, they were, I'm hearing, looking at your social media, liking your pictures. This person, if they're in another relationship, they secretly want you. I'm hearing something about third party and cheating. So when they pursued you, they could have already been in a relationship or something like that. Because we also have cheating. There's an emotional connection with someone else. So cheating came up twice. And guys, I don't want you to get worried if you're with somebody like oh my gosh are they cheating on me like this is something that you already know of okay this is something you already know of this is not supposed to cause you stress but i'm saying like at a certain point in your relationship they could have been with somebody else and the whole time that they were with someone else they actually wanted you or the whole time they were with someone else they were actually thinking of you and they wanted to leave the relationship to be with you or vice versa that's what i'm seeing we also have sneaky behavior, um, internet behavior. Like I'm hearing this person has like jacked off or gotten off to your photos. Even if they're a girl, guys, like I'm telling you, they were in bed with their significant other and they thought about you. Like they thought about you. This person also definitely stalks your social media. Like 100% this person um, 
is on your social media pages. They have seen your social media pages. They think that what you post is funny. They think you have an amazing sense of humor. Like this person is constantly on your social media because you're constantly on their mind. Like they, they'll think of you and they'll go and they'll stalk your social media. And I'm hearing they think the things that you post are funny or they get your sense of humor or something like that. Also, okay, they also like to stalk your social media a lot when they're drinking. That's what I heard as well. Now, they're saying, I'm going to have my cake and eat it too. I know I'm being selfish. Like, guys, do you see this pattern here? I really feel like your person was hiding the fact that they were already in a relationship but they had feelings for you. I feel like this person isn't, I feel like you guys both feel the same way about each other, but this person was hiding the fact that they were already in a relationship or they were already involved with someone else, but they wanted you. This could have started where one of you was cheating as well. Like I really see this over and over, cheating, cheating, sneaky behavior. I'm gonna have my cake and eat it too. Like someone here put the other person in a third party situation. I'm almost gonna guarantee it. And I feel like both of you feel the same way about each other. Let's go out for a drink and not have regrets. Like this person might have, you guys might have drink together. They want to drink with you. They want to cheat on their significant other to be with you. And also, I want to come in and support you in all of your dreams and endeavors. They're also saying, you make me feel happy and complete. Your presence soothes me. Someone caused a rift between us, and I'm not sure if we'll be able to recover from this. Guys, look how many cards say this. Cheating. My person made me cut you off. There's an emotional connection with someone else. Sneaky behavior. Browsing someone's social media. Um, someone caused a rift between us. I'm not sure if we'll be able to recover from this. There's like, and I want to have my cake and eat it too. There's literally five cards that say something about a third party situation. I'm telling you, this person was hiding the fact that they were in a relationship when they got with you because they have feelings for you. Or this person is hiding the fact that they're in a relationship, but they secretly have feelings for you. Because there's five cards that talk about a third party. So what this person is hiding is that they're already in a relationship. Or they're already involved and committed to someone else. They, they're hiding the fact that they actually have feelings for you. Okay? And if we have the emotional, like the... the um mutual energies, we have butterfly feelings. Both of you feel the same way. Um, when you kiss, it is electric. When you kiss, it, it like literally this is the person you're going to have the most physical compatibility with, group number three. One of you guys does art. One of, you, one of you guys is creative. I feel like both of you had a rough start together. Maybe this is the rough start I'm talking about. Someone was cheating. Someone was hiding that they were already in a relationship. I think this rough start has to do with someone hiding the fact that they were already in a relationship. We had wishes come true. Both of you feel like you're a wish come true. And we also have love. Both of you, the feelings are 100% mutual. The feelings are 100% mutual and healing heart. We also have running and chasing and repetitive cycle. So I feel like both of you switch back and forth between being the runner and the chaser. I feel like, you know, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I feel like both of you have the potential to hurt each other a lot because when one person wants to get close, the other pulls away. When the other pulls away, one person wants to get close. It's like this repetitive cycle of running and chasing. One person is the runner, then you back away and they start chasing you. It's like you're never on the same page. Does that make sense? Like one person always loves the other more than the other. And as soon as you pull away your energy, then this person comes chasing after you again. As soon as um, you start, you know, chase, like coming towards them, they pull away and run away. I feel like this, this relationship is extremely dramatic. There's a lot of love here. There's like when it's really good, it's really good. But when it's really bad, it's really bad. And remember, guys, if you haven't been in a relationship with this person and, and it's just a crush, hold up. I want to tell you that this is what the potential of the relationship is. 
Okay, there's Let Me Love You, Perfectly Imperfect, and also my past experiences made it difficult for me to open up my heart to someone again. I feared you were too good to be true. There's a lot of running and chasing, but this person feels you are wish fulfillment. Like both of you feel that way, but you can't stay on the same page for some reason. Like it's always a back and forth. It's always, it's literally always like one person's chasing, one person's running back and forth, on and off, um, juggling two people, you know? And also guys, like I said, this was an 18 plus reading, but you know what's really funny is I didn't really get explicit explicit um sex scenes for any of the piles this person definitely has lust for you you definitely do it for them sexually but you know what group number three their main fantasy with you in bed if you guys look at that is to eat with you is to have dinner with you is to binge out in bed with you and eat a bunch of good foods with you eat in bed like fuck and then get some food eat it in bed and fuck some more that's their feelings towards you that's their sexual fantasies with you isn't that funny like i was expecting you know like bds schemes or i was expecting like I don't know, like crazy sexual scenes, but this person really wants to binge out with you and lay in your food and sex filth, essentially. What I'm gonna do, guys, is I do have additional messages for you, by the way, that aren't just love, okay? Because they always come up. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of get an updated energy to see if you have a future. The left side is them. The left side is how they're currently feeling in this relationship and what they're currently going through. Um, the middle is going to be your connecting energies. Whoa, whoa, okay. See, guys, like I'm drawing as I go. I'm not even handpicking this. Look at this. So this is them. This is your connected energies. And the right is going to be you. So this is what I honestly see. I see that you guys, both the feelings are mutual. Group three, you know, I don't sugarcoat. I don't lie in my readings. Like if you want to know, does this person feel the same attraction? Do they feel excited when they see me? Do they feel the same magnetic pull as I feel for them? Yes. The feelings are 100% mutual because we have the eight of wands and the knight of wands, which talks about feeling super excited, super attracted to one another. The attraction is mutual. This person right now is, I think they're ready for a relationship with the two of cups they're realizing they want a relationship they're just moving very slowly on making this a reality this person with the knight of pentacles and the four of pentacles they're very guarded they are very slow to trust they're very slow to progress into a relationship but ultimately what this person wants is a relationship with the two of cups they're just moving extremely slow that's because this person is an overthinker they're trying to think of the right moves they can make to get to you because i feel like in the past this person has betrayed your trust or they had some sneaky behavior so they know they need to come at you right and guys i want you to know if you've been manifesting this person if you guys been doing magic it's working like if you've been doing magic on this person it is working and i want to tell you if you have not been manifesting this person or doing magic on this person this person has been doing magic on you They've been manifesting you. They've been doing earth magic. They've been doing some sort of magic to get you to come to them. But I will say with the five of swords and the seven of swords, they have these black ravens that surround them. Okay, they might have toxic people around them. They might have, you know, a lot of fears surrounding this connection. That's why they're moving really, really slow. Spirit, what are these fears? They have somebody who's a bad influence around them talking them out of this relationship. Group number three, straight up. There's, with this snake and this mercury, this talks about someone who's highly manipulative, who's feeding them poison about your relationship. They have someone around them who's telling them not to approach you, who is feeding them poison about the relationship. You, on the other hand, guys, you're working on your self-love you're really learning how to focus on self you i see you guys have your soul family coming in group number three like your i see a lot of friendships that are about to surround you with very good people i see you move into happier times you're starting to move away from them and focus more on yourself you're starting to move away from toxic things 
and focus on your healing and focus on yourself. And I think that's what's attracting this person to you more than ever because they're realizing <clears throat> they can't just breadcrumb you anymore. They have to come at you right. Okay, like you're really stepping into your empowerment. So they're starting to treat, they're, they're thinking of ways they can really spoil you. All right. And also, guys, I want to tell you that I really feel for you. There are some additional messages. Like I said, you guys are seeing the number synchronicity 1111 or 111. And we're going to go into detail what that means for you. So when you're seeing the number synchronicity, 1-1-1-11-11, this means you're stepping into extreme empowerment. And also, I want you to know there's an Aries who is very much into you. There's somebody here that, like, I'm seeing you being represented as a fairy tale princess. Even if you're a guy, just roll with it, okay? There's someone who's willing to go to battle for you, to fight the dragon that's surrounding you. Someone's willing to fight for you, group number three. Someone is willing to fight for you. Someone is willing, wants to come in and rescue you and wants to come in and save you. They could be an Aries sun, moon, and rising or Sagittarius or a fire sign, Leo sun, moon, and rising. Let's see what their next move is. The next move with the moon is I kind of feel like this person um, is going to offer you a gift. They're going to try to win you over with some sort of gift. This person is stuck in indecision on, on how to move forward with you though. Also, when you're seeing 1111, guys, this is a sign that someone around you is not being honest with this Jupiter and Gemini. Someone is bluffing. Someone's not being honest. So be vigilant with the things people are saying to you when you see 1111. Also, I'm hearing uh, when you see 1111, this is about not taking anyone's advice and kind of following your own direction because you know better than anyone else around you. Spirit, um, I'm sensing there's a blessing coming for you as well. Spirit, what is this blessing I'm feeling coming for group number three? You're meeting your soul family. You're meeting your soul tribe pretty soon. Also, I feel like there's some friends recently who have to leave your life. Like old people have to leave your life, group number three. And I want you to know rejection is God's protection. Some of these people you thought you were your friends, you thought were your supporters. There's a group of people you're leaving behind because these people were doing nothing but bringing you down. This is like a group of people, um, friendships, this is people you thought were your friends. Spirit is saying rejection is God's protection. They're removing people from your life who will do nothing but bring you down. Because remember, you become who your friendships are. So your spirit guides are removing these fake friends, these fake people from your life. And fortune is coming your way once you re remove these people or once the universe removes these people. So let's see what else is coming okay um let's see what else is coming for you i also see see you like staying off social media more and it's going to be really good for your mental health so i'm hitting a dead end that's all i have for you i hope that was helpful and i will see you later